I think the fastest way to get good at something is by simply learning the basics and then doing as many reps as possible. And when it comes to photography, when you're doing major reps of the basics, it can really lead you to amazing work in a short period of time. Welcome everyone, I'm James Alcatraz, and today we're gonna to be talking about leading lines. Now, if you're not exactly sure what leading lines are, all, all leading lines is, is a technique used in not just photography, but in all sorts of art. Um, essentially what you're doing when you're taking a photograph in this instance, you're framing your picture so as that lines in that image lead your eye in a very pleasing way exactly where you want them to go. And this is such a powerful technique that it's been used since the start of time, basically. I mean, you can look at art, they always utilize leading lines too. And that's, that's an artistic touch that you have to develop. A quick example, and I think this is, the, this is a photograph that everybody's seen, especially if you are graduated from high school. Um, think about senior pictures. What's, what's one of the most common senior picture that you can think of, you know? The, the senior uh, standing in between two uh, railroad tracks or standing between the railroad track, that's because the lines lead right up to the subject. And that's just the most you know simple one I can think of that uh, chances are you've seen it. Now, before I start going into some of my examples, please give my channel some love. Like, comment, and subscribe. And more importantly, leave me a comment. I wanna know what you've done to propel yourself to newer heights. And also remember, Whenever you give my channel any type of attention, it really helps me grow. So I really appreciate it. Now in my first example here, we have the subject right at the very top middle of the steps. Now, when I took this photograph, immediately I thought about leading your eyes right up to that subject. So I actually waited until someone walked all the way to the top of the steps. And once you start developing an eye for leading lines, you start to wait for things and you start to uh, compose the, the picture before it even happens. Now this is one of my favorite images from Chicago and you can see the the lights at the top starting at the top of the image going down into the middle of the image and uh, you can see that uh, I think it's a bike lane or a bus lane. Um, it also has that that red that white stripe going down the middle of the, of the image and, and I just kind of like how it, it kind of all zooms in right into the middle of the image and although there's no real subject there, I just, I like the way this one leads your eyes. And this is part of experimentation. Like you, you gotta, whenever you're taking a picture, you gotta develop uh, an eye for the lines and you don't always have to have a subject, but it's always worth it to practice. And for my last example, this is kind of a, this, this is kind of not a higher level, but it, it, it really stretches your ability to use leading lines. And as you can see here, we have this, this building here in Chicago, downtown. Uh, I stopped right in the middle of the street and I took this beautiful image uh, using, once again, those lights leading right into the middle of that, at the bottom of that building. And then once you look at that building, you notice that there are lines going up and down um, that building and it kind of leads your eyes all the way to the top. And that's, that's kind of what I wanted to do. And I've gotten really good reviews on this one. So when you implement this um, in street photography, you're, you're almost limitless because there's street signs, there's lines on the ground, and in photography in general, it's, it's really hard not to find leading lines. Now, it doesn't matter if you're just a street photographer. Uh, you can use leading li the leading lines technique um, if you do any type of photography, you know, landscape, portraits. It's all about what you can do to visually attract the eye, the eye in a very pleasing manner. And when you utilize the leading lines technique, it, it really yields amazing results in any kind of photography. And when you start to do this over and over and over and over, it develops this uh, critical eye that artists need. And here's another thing to think about. Utilizing leading lines in, in your photography isn't a rule. You don't have to always have leading lines, but at least have the ability to pull it out of your back pocket whenever you need it or whenever you wanna use it. And see, that's the important thing about getting as many reps in as possible. You want to be able to draw in your knowledge on command. And then you want to get to the point where when you start taking an image or a, a photograph of something, you're already thinking about all the leading lines and how it's going to add to your photograph before you even take the picture. And by utilizing this technique and, and building up on it, you're going you're gonna to crush every single photograph you take down the road. That's a promise. And when the basics become second nature, that's when you start to really develop as an artist, as a photographer. 
um, and anything that you're doing. Once you get the basics down and you're crushing it, you can't be stopped. Thanks a lot for sticking around. I really enjoyed this one. If you ever want me to take a look at your work, please uh, subscribe to this channel and leave me a comment. Or if you have Instagram and you feel more comfortable on that platform, add me on there and uh, message me. I love to see your work. And like always, like, comment, and subscribe to my stuff. I love it when you guys leave me comments. It really gives me something to look forward to. Now get out there and pursue your passion.